Now, most of you guys has been watching my videos for a while now. You know I'm a walker. I walk many miles every day, right? I walk many miles either at the park, well, four different parks, anywhere. I will get up out of bed and go walk every morning. But how would you feel or what would you think if I told you today I'm doing my walk on my back deck? Yeah, I'm going and touching the gate, coming around, touching the grill, and repeating that until I can't do it no more. Isn't that strange a little bit? It's not exactly strange. It's what you got to do when your back is completely out. Yeah, normally when my back is out like it is, I will still go to the park and try to at least complete as many laps as I can. But no, not today. Uh-uh. Uh, my back is really, really out right now. Only one other time I thrown it out this bad. That was back in uh, October 2020. And I'm still trying to walk right now. <laughs> uh, just because I'm making a video don't mean I should stop walking. I'm also doing laundry too. But yeah, uh, every year about this time, my arthritis in my back acts up more and more, okay? That's when I can feel the pressure and stuff. And when my back gets like that, it gets, that is so strange. Look at that, see that thing on my thumb? I know I'm getting off the subject again, but I wonder where that came from. It was a snail. But anyway, when my back gets like this, it's real easy to pull it. Now with the major weather change that we had here in Southeastern, <clears throat> sorry, that was pain. Southeastern Indiana, my back with the arthritis, it was real simple for me to pull it and I did just that. Back about, oh, I'm guessing, I don't know how many days ago, I felt a little pinch. I felt a little bit of pullness. I'm like, oh, okay, but yet, I'm still able to get almost my whole mileage. It's just, I'm gonna walk with a little pain. I was like, well, shoot, you know, that's all I did, I'm good. Well, the other day I uh, uh, took a shower, bent down to get the towel off the floor and I felt it then. Oh, I felt it, I was like, crap. Well, I pulled it even more. Okay, that hurt, that hurt a lot. But yet, I was still able to get around a little bit. It still would not have stopped me from going to the park and getting my miles. Well, not all my miles. I probably, well, I made a video. I made a video that day talking about how my back was pulled. Well, it was when I did the rock video, okay? It was actually that day I pulled it. So everything's all fine and good, you know. My back is pulled. I just had to make different arrangements when I walk. Well, I went to bed that night. Oh boy, here it comes. Now, this makes twice I pulled my back out, okay? So I'm laying in bed, and I'm on my back, and I was getting ready to turn it over. Well, I moved a certain way, had a muscle spasm, made my body jerk, and bam! I pulled it even worse. Oh yes, <laughs> oh did I ever. Oh, they make matters even worse than that. Uh, yesterday, I was in the car and I sneezed. Oh, I jerked something back there. So guys, my back is really, really good and pulled. But does this mean I'm gonna stop my walking? Oh, hell no. I may not be down there at the, one of my parks. I walk getting miles in, miles and miles. You know, I may not be doing that, but at least my butt's out here trying. Because I am a true believer. When your back is busted up and it's pulled and it's out, trying to walk, at least trying to get some type of walk, heal, it, it speeds up the healing process. Now, all the other times I pulled it, it usually took anywhere from 10 days to two weeks to where it started feeling much, much, much better. How long would it take this time after pulling it, what, one, two, three, four times? Well, I don't know. But I'm not going to stop walking, even if it is only on my back deck for now. What's funny about this situation right now is the last time I did these laps on my deck was right after my heart attack. Right after the doctor says I was okay to walk. This is how I started. This is exactly how I started. 
Oh crap, am I like back to square one? Maybe, that's okay though. Now sometimes when you're walking, your back is thrown. Sometimes you loosen it up enough where the walk gets a little bit easier. Not much, just a little bit. But the whole idea is to not sit on your butt and not do anything that whole day. Obviously, you don't want to lift anything heavy and you don't want to bend over and you got to be very cautious on your back. But getting out and just starting to walk or even surround your house, do so because I truly believe it heals, it speeds up the healing process. And every so often, <laughs> squat down. Because when you squat down, Oh, the relief back there feels so much better. Uh, I also do some squats on the floor and do a floor exercise, which I've been doing now for about maybe a year to help prevent my back from doing what it's doing now. Now, I can easily say them exercises didn't do no damn good, but they did still. Oh yeah, they did. It's just this time of year is when my arthritis gets, I got arthritis in my hands, my shoulders, I mean, shoot, I got it in my back. And this time of year when the weather changes, it, it, it gets back there and that seems to be the one I usually do damage to it. That's when I seem to pull it. And all I have to do is bend over, pick up a towel off the floor or basically have a muscle spasm in the bed or sneeze in a car. That's all it takes is something small and you can feel it pull. It's in the bottom part of the back and the pains I'm having now are just like the pains I had in October, but the different side. Actually, back in 2020, October 2020, it might have been a little worse because I couldn't straighten my back up at all. Like I'm, I'm straight right now. Then I literally had to walk like a, like a pretzel. I did, and <laughs> and that couldn't have happened at the worst time because I started on day the night before my vacation. Yeah. We had a 10 day vacation and we had plans of camping and everything else. And I pulled my back out the night before. Uh-huh. For those of you who've been following me, you might remember me talking about that. So basically I may only be able to walk on the deck for now, right? But I won't just do this one time a day. I will come back out here in a couple hours and do it again. And I will walk until I can't do it no more. And then when that starts getting a little easier on me, then I will make it down to the park. And then I will keep doing this until the back gets better. Because I truly believe if I do at least some type of walking, it'll heal that healing process up. And I'm not a doctor and no doctor's ever told me this, but there is one thing I do know. I do know if you ever have any surgery or any work done on your back, it easily gets you up as soon as possible start walking and that's why i started doing it i was like the walking loosens things up back there it straightens things up it puts things back in place it gets that i want to say blood going but i don't know the medical term but it gets things all working in working order at least it tries so guys <laughs> My walking workout now is on my back deck. I'll probably do this for another day or so. Then I will go ahead and head back to the park and see what I could do then. I'll be walking my injured park, which is shorter laps. And I say, hopefully if everything goes right, with the next month and a half, maybe next month if I'm lucky, I might be up to my miles again, but I'm not stopping. There's no way in hell I'm stopping. Mm -mm. I would turn the camera around and show you this site, but you probably wouldn't see it anyway because the sun's like coming right in. But whenever we hit fall and winter time, I have, and all the leaves are off the trees, I have a view of the Ohio River from my back deck. Right here, and it looks so damn pretty. It, it, the view is right where it goes into that turn. And, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I wish I had that view every day but come spring and summer leaves get on the trees and you ain't gonna be able to see that no not at all hope the camera is still on me i uh <laughs> my gimbal stabilizer i moved it up as i was leaning down like this and yeah i could do that with it believe it or not so basically any hiking through the woods is on hiatus for now i will make some type of 
try to make the videos interesting until my back gets better. And maybe progress on my back. I will give an update. But guys, take it from me. I'm not a doctor. And as my disclaimer, don't do what I do. Do whatever you think is best for you or whatever the doctor tells you. That's my disclaimer. But what I do is when my back goes out, and it does usually twice a year, usually in the fall and spring, I still try to walk. You won't be able to get the miles in. Not many miles at all. You'd be lucky to do one or two miles. And me, I don't, I don't, I can't. Only thing I can do is my back deck, but at least I still get out here and do it. Now I will do this a couple times a day, and I do it a couple times tomorrow, and then I'll be able to make it back to the park. And then even when I walk in the park with my injured back, I still will do the deck. Only um, because the more walking I could get in, I truly believe it's beneficial for my back. All right, guys, that's what I do. And as of today, <laughs> I'm walking the deck. That should be a country song. Shouldn't it? Walking the deck. Never mind. We're not getting into that. I can't sing. Until next time, come on. Let's get out of here. Leave me your comments if you don't mind. Tell me about some of your back issues. Tell me if you pull your back out every October and spring like I do. And if you're a walker, do you do the same thing I'm doing now? Some people think this is just downright silly. Not me. I truly believe this helps speed up the healing process. And plus, I can't stop walking anyway, no matter what. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. It means more to me than I could ever express. Until next time, come on. Let's get out of here. I got to try to think of a good thumbnail for this. We'll see you in a couple days.